welcome back to my channel, The Elite Nurse Lifestyle, where we discuss all things fashion, most importantly, fragrances. If this is your first time here, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the content. For all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching. And um, today, I wanted to go over two of the Zerzhov fragrances that I added to my collection about two, three months ago, but never got around to doing a video. So I decided to just put them all together for you um, instead of doing one at a time. And so guys, um, the first one is from the Casamirati line, which is, um, uh, this one is Gran Balo. And guys, you've seen these, um, packaging they are so beautiful i love the art detail i love the how colorful it is i love the shape of the pod the bottles i just think it's just um you know such it's like an art it's like art you know and so this is grand ballo so this fragrance guys it's like a fruity floral gourmand right um this it has honey, gardenia, jasmine. It also has caramel and um, uh, vanilla. And as well as, uh, let's see, there is amber in the fragrance, right? And so with most Zerzhov fragrance, they are, their projection is pretty good. Longevity is pretty good. I get about seven hours, seven, eight hours on my skin. Um, definitely projects and, um, you know, like I said, the longevity is pretty good. This one more suits the spring, summertime. And um, I've heard them liken it to, I believe it's Viva La Juicy. And I, I've never had that fragrance. I don't know what it smells like. So, um so if you know what Viva La Juicy is and you, you like that fragrance, then you more than likely would be um, inclined to like this fragrance as well. For me, it's a nice scent. However, um, you know, I don't see, like it doesn't really have that uh, niche quality that I look for in most of my fragrances, like something unique something that i wouldn't find typically in like a designer or a celebrity fragrance um you know and so for me if you like viva la juicy you probably and it does smell like it you probably could go with that so it is a nice fragrance and that is a uh, grand ballo from the house of zerja my next fragrance is cruise del sur 2 and guys, um, there's also a Cruise Del Sur one, but if you like, um, if you're looking for a gourmand fragrance that's perfect for vacation vibes, um, the summertime, springtime, Cruise Del Sur two, I think uh, would be the option for you. And so, guys, I know you've seen this unboxed quite a few uh, quite a few times, so I'll spare that for you. And um, this one, though, I wanted to mention, it comes with a meteorite. And um, the meteorite comes with a certificate of origin. And so this one was found in Siberia. And it gives you the coordinates of where it was found. I thought that was pretty cool. And so guys, this is Cruise Del Sur 2. This is a beautiful gourmand fragrance. Um, it is, um, there's also a Cruise Del Sur 1. So be careful when you do go to, if you want to purchase this fragrance, that is, is the 2 because this is the gourmand fragrance. I'm not sure what the 1 smells like, but if you want to get the similar one that I'm going to be talking about, this is the Cruise Del Sur too. And it's a gourmand fragrance. It has notes of pineapple, guava, mango. There's vetiver. There's a milk note at, in the base. So when it dries down, it leaves this beautiful, milky, creamy um, uh, scent. And it is just um, so intoxicating. 
it is perfect for this time of year if you're going on a vacation this is you know to the tropics this would be perfect to take along with you um the like i would say the performance is great it's a zerja fragrance most of the fragrances you know do pretty well um it lasts about eight hours on my skin it doesn't project much and um i don't get like a huge uh sillage or anything like that but um when you do spray it you know it you can definitely smell it and after about three hours or so it sits a little bit closer but you can definitely smell it on your skin for about six seven hours um but it is a wonderful fragrance guys this is actually one of my favorites from the house because of the dry down though i love the dry down it's so creamy so milky and so guys let me know if you have this fragrance what are your thoughts on this fragrance but that's it so it's grand ballo and it's cruise del sur too and as you probably can tell my favorite of the two is the cruise del sur too and so guys thank you so much for watching if you like the content please like share and subscribe and stay tuned